For part C, we're asked to find what the fastest step is. To figure this out, we have to find the activation energy. When we find the lowest activation energy, that's going to be the fastest step. And think of activation energy as the energy that's required to go from, let's say, the reactant to the product or the reactant to the intermediate. The less energy it takes to be able to convert that is going to be the fastest step. How we do this is we start from left to right, where what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like a dash line starting with our reactant. Then I'm going to place an arrow here going from that line that I just drew all the way to the transition state. This portion here is step one. This is converting A to C. So this was one activation energy, then I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna say, okay, now I'm going from C to E, this is our second step. And again, I'm gonna draw that line. I'll place an arrow going as high as that transition state. That's our other activation energy. So the energy required to go from C to E. Now I'm gonna go from E to G. Draw a line, place an arrow as high as the transition state F. And now I'm looking for the smallest amount. So this would have been our fastest step because it has the lowest activation energy. So I'm going to state that it would have been E to G. 